Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow region. Now right behind me is actually my apartment building where I live here in Moscow region around about 40 kilometers from Moscow and I want to show you why I don't need a Russian hypermarket or a big supermarket uh, to go shopping. Now I'm going to show you a few different places right where I live where I can do exactly the same kind of shopping at pretty much exactly the same kind of prices. So let's go check out a few places, shall we? Now this is the building that I live in here. Uh, it's basically a 14 story building. Now in this town where we live, there isn't that many larger apartment blocks. There's a lot more smaller five level buildings and a lot of uh, single family homes. But the first store I want to show you is right here on the corner. This is called Fasol. Now this is actually my wife's kind of favorite shop because it's just downstairs from where we live and the entrance is just there on the corner. And then the good thing about Fasol, it's open every day 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. So you can come basically later in the evening. Now this is a bit more of a convenience store size shop. So we'll pop on inside and check it out. All right, so this is the inside of Fasol here. I pretty much know everybody that works here. We're uh, kind of regulars at this store. They've got a nice fruit and veg section. Got pretty much one of everything that we need and more here. They've got some, uh, also some meats, some hams. Actually plenty of seasonal fruit and veg right here. Some drinks and there's a kind of a cleaning section cat and dog food, spin around. It's actually got quite a lot more things than it looks like. Very typically a lot of apartment buildings have these sort of downstairs shops. And look at all the deli meats here. Sausages, salamis, cheeses. And then they've got breads and all of the dairy over here as well. So plenty of choices. And this is literally downstairs from where I live. I'm not more than 20 meters away. Now I hope this video doesn't run too long. I'm going to show you about five or six different places, all within around about 100 meters of where I live. So we'll go check out the second place. Now somewhere up there is my kitchen window and balcony window, but right downstairs here is red and white, or Krasdi Bilo. This is basically like a liquor store come convenience store. These guys are open 9 a.m. till 10.05 p.m. every day. And they're just downstairs and we'll pop on in and check it out. So coming on inside Krasnabile here. So they've got a little bit of everything here. And interestingly, they've got coffee and tea right by the whiskeys behind the counter. There's some kids candy. And of course, the main sort of thing in this store is the alcohol. So there's plenty of spirits. These guys just got their delivery, so they've got a little bit of stuff all over the place in here. They've got the beer fridge, and then around the back here, chips, candy, and more alcohol. Lots of wine, champagne, vodka, and they've got some juices, some cold drinks, plenty of things in this little small store. Now, the real secret of Krasnobyle is their 30 ruble eggs. Yes, you can get a box of 10 eggs for 29 rubles and 90 uh, cents. <laughs> What's the copex? So yeah, and then they've actually got the dairy fridge back here. So rather than having beer in it, they can actually get very cheap yogurt, cheese and hams. But if you need cheap eggs in Russia, come to Krasnibyle, 29 rubles for a box of 10. Now, I've not walked more than around about 40 meters from my building right there, which you recognize from the other shots, to this next apartment building. Now, this is a little bit older building than what we live in, but there's a pretty interesting shop here. This is one of my wife's favorite shops here, and it's not a supermarket as such. It's basically a mini mart, but they specialize in personal care items and things for cleaning the house, washing the dishes. So. Let's check it out. Now this is actually the inside of the shop here. So this would be the original lower level of the apartment building and they typically convert them into shops. So this guy here, uh, it's a husband and wife. 
that run it. He's not here today and I was hoping to get him in the video, but he's got nail clippers and some hair brushes. And check this out. Now, this guy that runs this store dedicates the shop to basically beauty products. So he's got all of the different hair dyes, makeup. Check this out. All of the shampoos, deodorants, lots of men's stuff over here. In the back's all cleaning products. And then around the corner here, there's toilet roll. So I've got no need to go to a big hypermarket or a big supermarket. Literally, I can come here for all the cleaning products and personal care products. Big section of toothbrushes right there. And check it out around the corner here. There's all of the cleaning products. Even they've got uh, window cleaning things, everything, all in one shop. Look at all the shampoos here. So there's literally anything that I could find in Globus, in Ashan, if you watch my other videos in this one shop and they basically niche themselves down just to personal care and cleaning products. And like check out all of the different hair shampoo, hair dyes they've got here, hair coloring, loads of them. So how neat was that shop there? It basically just had all personal care items and cleaning items and I don't even have to go to a supermarket. I can walk 50 meters from my house Pretty much everything in there is the same price or even a little bit cheaper than the supermarkets. So why do I need to travel? Now I've just walked a little bit further down the building here and there's two <laughs> pharmacies and Tekka. So that right here there's a pharmacy on this left hand side and this is a beauty salon right here and then there's a, another pharmacy <laughs> in the same building on the next corner. Now we'll just pop our head in here and check this out and you'll see how many things we can get in this pharmacy. Now actually this is the one my wife tends to come shopping at because it's just a little bit bigger, got a lot more choices. And you can see here all the items, there's uh, all of these uh, tablets, are they vitamins? I really don't know everything in the pharmacy. I walk in, grab what I need and walk out, but they have a really nice selection of things in here. Actually a really big place. Check it out, around the corner here, it keeps on going. Look at all the products they've got. Nice selection. Now, not too far from the pharmacy where we were just in, there is another kind of a liquor store here. Now, this one is called Bristol. We'll go in and check this out because this is kind of a neat store. Very similar to Krasnobylo, but it's two buildings away. So let's go in and have a look. Now, the fact that this is mostly alcohol and beer and cool drinks, obviously a lot of fridges when you first come in, but they have some nice bargains on the beer here as well. Tourborg on special, 46 rubles. And then, again, this is kind of the first level store here, so check this out. Lots of alcohol, beer, cool drinks. They've even got beer on tap. Check this out. You can get the beer on tap. They've got the containers in the back there. A bit hard to see, but, and they put the beer on tap for you. And they've even got a little frozen section. And they've got ice creams. Everything I need in one store. And they've even got a little fridge there with some cheese and some hams. But check it out, all the different alcohols. Look at that, there's not even the shortages of American products there. Maker's Mark. They've got Jim Beam, plenty of American whiskies, bourbons, along with brandies, cognacs, everything you need. So just thinking about it compared to going to the big supermarkets, I can literally walk two buildings from my apartment and get every type of alcohol, beer, cool drinks that I possibly need. Now, I don't come to Bristol as much as Krasnobylo because it's in the next building and I've got to walk a whole of, 50 meters from my apartment. Now, if you were worried that we're running out of shops, this is the same building. There's another pharmacy right here. There's another beauty salon. And then here on the left, there's another pharmacy. And Tekka 77. So we have a lot of places we can get pharmacy goods, medication, pills. Uh, yeah, now the next place we're gonna go is right on the corner here. 
let's get down there. All right, so this place on the corner here is another one of my wife's favorites. This is called Kuzville, which translates to taste of farm or taste of the farm. And there's actually a small cafe in here as well. So we'll go and have a quick look and see how many things we can find. All right, and this is the inside of Kuzville here. This is actually a really nice, it's really a supermarket sized shop, but it's kind of a little bit smaller. But they've got all fruit and veg. Lots of very nice uh, seasonal fruit at the moment. And they've got ice cream here and uh, different frozen uh, kind of cupped ice cream, I guess, where you use the spoon. And right now, seasonally, they've got watermelons. Yes, you've got to do the watermelon test to see which one is the freshest. And then just coming around into the back here, they've got more vegetables. Everything's refrigerated in here as well, so keeps it a little bit, uh, fresher, longer. They've got prepared meals. It's a little bit of a rabbit warren of a shop, but it's got everything you need. There's the meat here, chicken, and there's some snacks, breads, everything. There's some dairy items. And there's some uh, fresh milk right here. And yogurts. Everything you need. Here's the rice. So plenty of choices, even a tiny frozen section. But uh, lots of pilmeni here. Check out the pilmenis in these brown boxes. And then cheeses. My wife likes coming shopping here. There's not too many things I like to buy, but look at all these staff sort of working away here. So they're doing online ordering here as well. So they basically prepare people's online orders and they get delivered to their house. And then here in the side of the shop, there's the little cafe here. And they have some nice bakery goods and they serve nice coffee here too. And what I want to really show you is my favorite cheesecake right there. Oh, kind of little small New York cheesecake here in a Prelifka in my town. It's not always so busy here. Most people do takeaway, but they've got a little seating area. Now, as we're walking this a little bit further down, I'm going to walk about another 20 meters in front of us. The staff in Quizville are super friendly and all the staff there, uh, they've wanted me to come in for so long to make a little video. And I really want to make a full walk around of that place, but I just want to sort of sneak it into this video and just show you all the different food choices right where I live. Now, these are actually kind of summer food markets that they've got uh, set up around the town here. These are in all parts of Moscow region. And there's about five of these in my uh, suburb here. So you can see the couple of buildings we've visited. And these guys have all seasonal fruit and vegetables. So, of course, the Russian favorite cucumbers and tomatoes. And then again, watermelons are kind of the current seasonal item. It's really sunny here, so check out the size of these. And also grapes, cherries, raspberries. And a very nice friendly lady here who sits here in the shade because it's a very hot sunny day today. So we're still on the same street, believe it or not. And how many choices have I got to go shopping without having to go to the supermarket in Russia? And this is our kind of little bit of a one-way road system here. And what I want to really show you is this supermarket right here. This is called Miratok. Now this is actually a supermarket, like a full-fledged supermarket which kind of specializes in meats. Now this supermarket's actually open every day, 8 a.m. till 11 p.m. So if I want to come to a proper supermarket, 11 p.m. at night, seven days a week. Now this is actually almost like a little mini shopping center here. So they've got another pharmacy and then they've actually got a place for getting glasses and opticians. And there's actually a place here called Havana Smoke, which has Cigars, cigarettes, and smoking equipment, I guess is the right word for it. And then this is Miratok. Now, these guys don't really like me filming in here, so we'll just sort of just do a little bit of a brief walk outside. This is a full supermarket here, and they specialize in meats, hams, and uh, beef, pork, chicken. Not so much fish, but They've got self-checkouts, they've got the registers right here, but it's a full supermarket. And then actually this supermarket, because it's specialized in meats, it has its own burger place. 
called Burger and Fries. And actually, this is always very quiet in here. But they make very nice hamburgers and uh, home cut chips or fries. But they basically make everything from their meats from in the supermarkets. Uh, it's kind of got that kind of diner kind of feel to it. But it's a little bit quiet today. But anytime you come here, you'll be struggling to find two or three people in here. But yeah, this is burger and fries. So that was Miratok and Burger and Fries. Now I really wanted to film inside there, but the security guy gets a little bit upset every time I've got my camera. Uh, it's completely allowed to film in Russia in public areas, but that guy just doesn't understand that I can't get anyone to fully explain to him the law. So no worries. I've got two more places I want to show you and they're literally at the end of the street. But to where you live, tell me in the comments, please. Do you have this many shopping options? Uh, in your suburb where you live or within walking distance of your house. Now I can understand a lot of people live in suburban areas but this is really the suburbs of Moscow region as well. Actually off to my sort of left over here it's pretty much all suburban houses and you can see the apartment buildings behind where we've sort of walked. This is pretty much it for all the apartment buildings in our town. It's really more a suburban uh, area where we live here so yeah, let's get down to the other couple of places and check out what's inside. Now, just off in the very distance there is my apartment building. And then on this corner here, there's a whole series of townhouses. And it's basically a gated kind of community. The actual main entrance is on the other side here. This is kind of the emergency exit, I guess they'd call it. But they've got these kind of two and three bedroom townhouses. And they've kind of got a nice uh, communal kind of gardens that they share between each other. But where I want to show you is just ahead of us here, this green building. And this is actually where we used to live for a couple of years. We were up on the third level in this building. Now, why we really like living here, apart from the fact it was a really nice building, is it's got two supermarkets downstairs. And that's pretty much the entire lower level, apart from the entrance where the elevators are to go up to your house, as this tree gets right in the way. but. Uh, there is two different places. So on the left is Dixie, which is the one in orange right there. And on the right is Pitorichka, or Five. Pitorichka Five. Pitorichkas are all over Russia. Literally everywhere, even in Moscow center. In all, even small regions of Russia, they've got a Five or a Pitorichka. So we'll go and check these two out. Now, if that wasn't enough, this is the other big building. These are pretty much all the apartment buildings in my town here, all in one clumped area here. There is two more supermarkets in this building right in front of us. So first we'll have a look around Dixie and this is on the left hand side as we looked at the building from outside here. And this is a full fledged supermarket. It's a little bit of a miniaturized version, but have a look what's on special right out the front. Cu uh, the watermelons again. I was going to say cucumbers. Oh my gosh. This is a nice supermarket welcome, here. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Finally, someone's welcoming you to film in this shop. But this is a very nice, spacious supermarket here. These kind of guys compete directly with Pitorichka next door. And they have very, very similar pricing. But the whole point of the video is I literally can walk not more than 500 meters, 800 meters. And I've got these stores right on my doorstep, quite literally. Check out everything here. So there is basically set up aisle like, like a normal supermarket, of course. But this is in the lower level of the building, but everything you need is right here. And they've even got some uh, alcohol and spirits right there. A lot of the shops in Moscow now tend to have the coffee at the front. Coffee's gone up quite a bit in price because it's one of the few things that's made in Russia. So it tends to be uh, a little bit of a higher ticket price item. Here's all the beer and drinks and soft drinks and vodkas. So yeah, plenty of choices. Okay, so not too far from Dixie. On the left hand side here is Pitorichka. As we sort of saw from the wide shot there. So this is very much a chain supermarket, which is everywhere in Russia. I can't stress it enough how many of these there are. 
but uh, very similar to next door, but a little more corporate looking and a little bit sort of, uh, I'm gonna say the word fancier or neater, if you like. But these guys are, there'd have to be a few thousand of these locations throughout all of Russia. Actually, this place has undergone a lot of remodeling recently too. So they've got these nice glass fridges and then they've got a nice little mini bakery here as well. So you can actually get the pastries. You just put them in the bag, normal bread, but everything you need in this supermarket, literally this replicates a full size normal supermarket. Really, it's just dependent on the size of the store and the location, how big it is. As uh, we walk around here, a little bit smaller aisles here. So if you've got two people with a basket, and have a look over here. Original Pepsi with the Russian logo on it, 99 rubles. So yeah, and here's a little tiny frozen section. And then they have here all of the sort of cool drinks, water. It's really a little bit mixed up in here. They've got things in different spots, which I don't really like as a merchandiser, but they've got the oil here. And then pasta and dairy. And then uh, mayonnaise, milk, and off in the distance, yogurts, baby food, plenty of things. And I couldn't really leave Pitorichka without having a look at the uh, chocolate here, see what they have. Milk has gone up a lot in price in the last uh, few months, but my Alpine Gold is still a reasonable price, 59 rubles, Ilonka. And there's the pay by weight candy here. There's a little bit of fruit and vegetables, but everything you possibly need in the supermarket. And they've even got self-checkout over here on the left. And there's the alcohol section. So there's basically spirits over here and then plenty of beer choices. And then this is the next building over here from Pitorichka. This is actually quite a big apartment building. This is actually newly built in the last six or seven years. You can see here, just by the amount of cars parked, everyone would struggle to find parking spots here, but another pharmacy right here. And there actually is another uh, little liquor store right there. And then there's a second liquor store on the left here where this lady with a white hat is. There's another liquor store. And then just off in the very distance is the two extra supermarkets. And one of them is Magnet which is the one that I kind of frequent quite a lot. And then literally from here, you can see that building just there. And then my building is just behind the townhouses. Now, I really want to thank everybody for watching this video, especially right to the end. Again, if you sort of watch the end, let me know in the comments. And the whole point of the video, if we kind of got the gist of it, is to see how many stores there are right where I live, uh, all in the space of about a one square kilometer and just how many options I've got to go shopping without having to go to a major supermarket, especially if I compare Ashan or Globus, uh, even other ones that are closer to Moscow. I've got no need to go there. I can literally walk on foot. You'll find pretty much everyone that we've seen in all the shops in this entire video. People have walked from where they live. And that's very common in Moscow region that downstairs from your apartment building or within a few streets of your house, You've got all the shopping you need and then and at all at very reasonable prices. There's not an increase in price just because it's a smaller supermarket. So yeah, thanks for watching Traveling with Russell. I do hope you like the video again. Post a comment, let me know what you think. It's very hot and sunny today. I'm gonna to stop for a drink now before I get home at the next store here. So yeah, thumbs up if you liked it. Hope it's not run too long. I'm not too sure yet till I edit it together. I'm gonna piece it together right after this and have it ready for you today. So I'm heading off on another adventure, everybody. Bye.